Hello everyone. Today's lesson I will show you how to create maps and backgrounds for your video. Maps I want to do first. You're not going to use them very often, but they can add a really cool touch to any movie where you talk about going from one place to another. You want to know how I did that, don't you? Yeah. Well, here it is. Move down to your bottom left, double click, Maps and Backgrounds. Your maps are at the top. Uh, let's pick my favorite. I have this weird thing with the blue marble. It's pretty. So click, drag, drop, and it falls into place. I'm going to double click the clip itself. Click on Adjust. Notice up here you've got some destinations. You can have a starting point and an ending point. Let's take it from San Francisco to other end of the country. How about New York? Yeah, that'll work. USA. Click on Done. It goes from San Francisco to New York. You have some choices. If you click on Style, you can choose which kind of a map you like. And you can also get a little bit more funky with it. You can zoom in on the route and you can add clouds to it too if that's your thing. Let's see how it looks. Go back to the beginning. Hit your space bar. And it moves over. If you want to do it reverse, click this icon right here. And now let's watch it go from New York to San Fran. How cool is that? Now let's move on to backgrounds. If maps are at the top, backgrounds are at the bottom. They are really simple to use. Find the one you want, drag it, drop it. If you want to make it longer, grab the end, stretch it out. If you want to make it shorter, grab the end, move it back. But there's one other place I want you to look for backgrounds that will knock your socks off. Go to Safari. You should have bookmarked a website called videoblocks.com. When you go there, there are so many cool things you can find. Look on your left hand border. You're looking for motion backgrounds. If you click it, you can see all kinds of cool stuff. Fire and effects, flags, flourishes, flowers, glass objects, liquid effects. That sounds kind of funky. Let's take a look at it and see what we've got. Hmm, I'm looking for something that's pretty much one color. Because if you have something that's multiple colors, it's really hard to put text over the top of that and read it. So I'm looking for, how about simple water blue? Yeah, little swishy, swirly, kind of pretty. Find what you'd like at video blocks and then we'll make it happen. The big thing I need to remind you is if you're going to put text over the top of this, you need to make it one color. Multiple colors, when you try to put writing over the top of it, can be hard. Also, you want to avoid graphics that have writing over the very middle of it, especially if that's where your writing is going to go. See how there's blue and white and green in the middle of that graphic? Not a good choice if your text is going to go over the middle. But if there's something that you can put plain white text over, you can come up with some really awesome options for your backgrounds. That's all I've got for today, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh,